Obama today running right at John McCain like the general election's underway like he... I think that's a great idea. Maybe you can make it robotic. Yeah. Yeah. Now, a tsunami that happened in 2006 didn't kill anyone, but in 1964, 11 people were killed after one minute. Now, that tsunami that happened in Crescent City. You're watching News Channel 3, the spirit of the North Coast. It's not an emergency that happens too often, but today, all across the North Coast, many residents practiced what to do in case of a tsunami. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Leslie Buchanan. And I'm Scott Hurst. Leading off our broadcast tonight, the last tsunami to hit the North Coast happened almost two years ago in Crescent City. Sarah Miles joins us now live to tell us about a tsunami warning system that alerts residents of the threat of this emergency. Sarah. Yes, yeah, Scott, here on King Salmon, residents have the highest risk of being affected by a tsunami. And you can see right, why right behind me is Humboldt Bay. And today, the National Weather Service conducted a test of its communication system to make sure it worked in case a tsunami actually happened. This is a test of the emergency alert system. It was only a test. And really, this test is about making sure that that whole system works right. The stations I was able to monitor locally had a crawler that clarified it was a test. They ran a public service announcement uh, on TV stations right before the test. This morning at 1022, alerts went out across local television, radio, and NOAA weather radio. This is only a test. It's very clear that the majority of TV and radio stations accurately uh, covered the signal. We right away discovered a very small problem in the technology we had here in the office and uh, gingerly stepped over that, went to our, our first of many backup methods. Nicolini's main concern was making sure those who were hard of hearing or deaf knew of the test. And we, we actually put in place, I would say, some very, very significant and aggressive measures to reach out to those uh, members of the community so that they would know about the test beforehand. This is the first of its kind to take place in Humboldt County and even in California. We plan to do additional counties next year, but uh, we, we will move beyond Humboldt County next year. But not even everyone in Humboldt County heard the test. If you weren't around a radio or television or were turned to a non-local channel, it's likely you didn't even know a test was being conducted. And somebody suggested that, you know, text messaging on cell phones. And, and those are actually technologies. We're chasing down some of those technologies and try, trying to bring those to bear on the challenges we face here in Humboldt County. But not to worry if it were an actual tsunami. What they should do if they hear a real tsunami warning is basically if they're on a beach, get off the beach and then get more information. Turn on the radio or TV and find out what's going on. Something that hasn't happened in the area since November of 2006. Tsunami that happened in 1996 in Crescent City didn't kill anyone, but in 1964, 11 people were killed by the only tsunami known to kill people in the continental United States. Live in King Sam and Sarah Miles, News Channel 3. Thank you, Sarah. I know, I said didn't kill anyone, but 11 people were killed. I know. And the only time you know to kill people. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, whatever, that's a stupid text. 